Hey everyone, welcome to WHG Productions. And uh, today we are going to be making an animated alert for Twitch uh, in After Effects. So this will be an After Effects tutorial for that. And uh, this is going to be a donation alert. Uh, so you can make any alert you want, but this will be a donation one. Uh, so over here you can see that I have uh, this animation over here. And uh, this is a really simple and nice animation uh, to be used in your online stream or Twitch stream. And uh, you can see that the name can be popped up over here in OBS or Streamlabs or Stream Elements, whatever software that you are using easily. Uh, once anyone donates uh, a dollar or anything uh, to your stream. So if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe uh, and let's get straight to the video. Okay, so before moving forward, we need to create an, the design for our alert in photoshop so what we're going to do is we have something like this and uh, uh, this is a 800 by 300 pixel background so we'll select new and we can create an 800 by 300 pixel uh, background uh, which will be transparent when we export it so for this width i'm going to have 800 and for this height i'm going to have 300 pixels the rest of the setting need to be similar we can name this alerts and once we have this black layer we can uh, just go ahead and select a new layer from over here and select the ellipse tool from over here and i'm just going to by holding down shift i'm just going to drag this and i'm going to create this uh, circle over here so i placed a gradient background in on this circle uh, but first i'm just going to adjust a few properties uh, for this, uh, I'm just going to have white color for the stroke. Let's make this 5 pixels. And uh, in order to see this, uh, you need to create a new solid layer. And uh, it's better to have a dark background so your design is consistent and you can all the focus is on this design. So for this ellipse, I'm just going to go ahead and double click this layer and select a gradient overlay for this. So you can basically select any color, but uh, it needs to be consistent with your logo theme. So right now I'm just going to select a red color. So as my theme is going to be red, 90, let's reverse the direction. So it's something like this and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and change this to red as well so for this stroke I'm just going to click this and select red so this is going to give me a nice and consistent theme and for this next part I'm just going to go ahead and create uh, this arrow as you saw over here uh, this one so this is a really easy to do i'm just i have just made a new layer over here and i'm just going to zoom in over here on this and select my pen tool make sure that you have the foreground color selected as the one you want so for this pen tool i'm just going to go ahead and draw a nice half of a circle half sorry half of an arrow like this and something like this so i'm just going to right click and select fill path select the foreground color and press delete once to erase this path now i'm just going to press ctrl j to duplicate this press ctrl t on my keyboard and then drag this downwards and then by right clicking i'm going to select flip horizontal sorry flip vertical so this is going to snap just like this. So by pressing enter, you can have this arrow like this. Now in order to, uh, you, as you can see, these are uh, this arrow is in two layers. So in order to merge these both together, you need to press shift, right click, and press merge layers. So this will be the arrow. Now I'm just going to drag this over here by pressing V and selecting this arrow just like this and pressing ctrl j i'm going to duplicate it dragging this over here now press ctrl t on this arrow and 
just flip this horizontally this will snap just like this and this is going to be your alert and now for the icon now for the icon uh, this is a dollar icon so this will be a donation alert so i have this over here and this is in PS png press ctrl t uh, on this and uh, just resize this to a smaller version then just copy this over uh, over here press ctrl v and you will place this icon over here and after this you just need to change the color double click on this layer over here this black space and select the color overlay just like this so this will be your alert now in order to uh, export this file you need to make this uh, simpler so you can delete the background over here you can name this as background for this end layer and uh, for this ellipse you can just go ahead and combine this ellipse and this dollar icon by pressing uh, down control right clicking merge layers as you can see and this will be the left arrow and uh, the right arrow so this is we can name this as left and for this we can name it as right so it's way easier to export your file in after effects if you have named them and it's very easier to animate so you know you're just going to save this file and export it in after effects so after jumping into after effects we need to create a new composition over here and uh, we'll select the same size as we did in photoshop 800 by 300 pixels and for this uh, time we'll select four seconds four or five seconds i think four seconds is good enough and select okay so this will be a new composition over here and uh, we are going to import our file over here by right clicking select import file make sure that the project tab is open so once we have a file over here we need to just go ahead and double click uh, this button and uh, import it over here so as you can see we have all of these layers uh, together uh, so the next thing we want to do is uh, then animate this so let's just go around at uh, this one second and let's just bring this uh, e-frame this coin we're pressing position p on our keyboard like this and uh, just going back we can just go ahead and drag this down uh, so we will see that this is going to come up and in order to make this rotate then we need to just make this uh, in 3d so and we are going to select this y rotation over here and uh, we are going to rotate this so for this uh, we are going to select z zero and uh, just rotate this like this and just up by pressing uh, this arrow button over here we will jump to this keyframe where we have this uh, in center aligned and uh, we are just going to press one over here so this will this is going to rotate this just like this this is going to bring this up like this so for one second this is going to continue just like this over here and this looks cool now in order to animate these arrows we are just going to select u on our keyboard to just to reveal these uh, two keyframes for this coin and for this left arrow i'm just going to go at around 10 second 10 frames over here and i'm just going to press the position for both of these and uh, then i'm going to go back a little over here and just make this appear outside of the screen so you as when you press space bar then you will see that this is how it is going to animate and this is going to be real nice uh, we can just go ahead and drag this uh, arrow these the last few keyframes of the arrows uh, a little over here because we need to do another thing which is uh, scaling down the uh, this coin so now what we are going to do is uh, select both of these arrows and uh, just bring them down closer to over here uh, which is which is going to look like uh, they are making the 
this uh, coin smaller so this is the last keyframe for this uh, these arrows so i'm just going to go over here and uh, i'm just going to drag this arrow one by one selecting uh, the left arrow first and uh, just uh, make this something like this over here and for this other arrow i'm also going to do the same and just going to slightly make this over here so this is going to just reduce the size of the this is going to make like make it look like it's going to reduce the size just like this as you can see these arrows go in and then they go out now we are going to decrease uh, the size of the uh, coin so for this coin i'm just going to press s on my keyboard to open the scale and as you can see that this is the highest point uh, that they come inside these arrows and then they go outside so at this point i have this point over here i'm just going to select the scale as maybe just like this this much so this will be good enough and uh, once they go outside these arrows, arrows go outside just like this i'm going to pop it up to 100 again and uh, uh, the next thing you need to do is uh, just go over here and uh, just pop it back up to 100 100 so it's going to look normal and uh, this will be the animation up till over up till now so this is it uh, so i think this is a bit too fast so what i'm going to do is select all of these keyframes press alt on my keyboard and then i'm going to just increase the time so i think this one is looking much better yes so now for this last part we are just going to basically uh, move uh, some have some space in between just to let the names of your viewers pop up when they uh, donate to your uh, stream so uh, first of all i'm just going to go ahead and select all of these keyframes and press f9 or select uh, right click select keyframe assistant and easy ease them this will ease out the animation uh, so now i'm going to just uh, make a mark at over here something over here and uh, first of all i'm just going to go ahead and select this right arrow right click and pre-compose this so you can name this as right arrow and uh, select ok and for this uh, left now we are going to pre-compose the left arrow and this coin right click and select the pre-compose button let's name this coin select ok so now we are going to have uh, these two compositions over here and uh, uh, now i'm going to select position for both of them and uh, so i'm going to just going to hit the stop button now i will move uh, at around somewhere around 11 frames or something like that and uh, first of all i'm going to move the right arrow to this very end and uh, next i'm going to select this coin and left arrow and move this to the very end so this for this complete animation we're going to have something like this and uh, this is going to be uh, really look this is going to look so awesome in your stream uh, when uh, some anyone donates so uh, let's uh, just go ahead and easy ease these both of these keyframes as well easy ease them and now in order to export this uh, you just need to uh go ahead and make this background transparent and make sure that your background which is was the black one from photoshop is hidden so this will be your transparent uh, animation over here and in order to export this you basically just need to go over here in file export add to render queue in this lossless setting you need to select quick time and rgb plus alpha this is very important rgb plus alpha is for transparency select ok and this is the position where you want to export this and then just hit render and your file will be exported so guys i hope you like this video and if you did then please leave a like comment below on what you want to see next and uh, let me know if you want to see more of the twitch alerts or animation tutorials and i will make them for you
please be sure to uh, subscribe and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video so thanks so much for watching